You guys may have watched my dual heat pad, hot pad, however you want to call these things. But now I'm doing five spotted, five pads about this big, I guess. It may be this big. Who knows? But this is, link will be in the description below, and this is how they came. Put in a little Amazon box. Amazon thing in the jig. Been wanting to open these. Two weeks. I was like, I gotta do a video on them. Can't just open them. Ooh. Oh, you could see the actual. Now, if you've watched my other ones, I think that's the stitching to keep everything in place. Let's see if you guys can even see this. Okay, there you go. I think that's the stitching to keep everything in place. That is not the hand, the heat pad. There, can you see it? it goes, goes out. I don't even see it. I see it go right to here, and that's it. I'm sure it goes out further. Let's see if every one of them's like. Uh... I love the material. I've been using them other ones, and they're just remarkable how well they work. I'm not really seeing a anything go out. It's almost like it's in them right here, but we will check it, and we'll do another video. Nice material. It does hold up pretty well. As long as it's the same as the other material. Individual leads to each one. So you can take them wherever on your body you want. Why did you just shut off all the lights? Hey Google. Make it bright. So we got a... Uh, you could sew that into a glove or something. But that's your temp temps. Uh, it says it's uh, waterproof. I wouldn't really trust it. Because this is the only thing that goes over it to make it waterproof. Uh, there's got to be electronics in here somewhere that just can't handle all that. It's, looks like it's got... Uh, it's just gummy stuff. That, that's pushed through there, so it's not really secured. What's this little piece? Now, with my other one that has two pads, really impressed with them. Love them. Okay, them aren't very long. <laughs> uh, there's some that are actually longer than others. So you got two that probably go in your arm, and then three that are a bit longer. I think one may even be longer. Jesus. Uh, so you have them are about a foot and a half, and then you have two that are there and then you got one that's really long I would say put both of these in your arm maybe both of them somewhere else that one goes on your back or something they will not reach from your foot I would say if you put these two in your foot you could probably put these up on your uh, belly belly button area and then this one could go maybe on who knows where I would say the longest one is three foot we got a two and a half and a one and a half. And then the button. Now I was saying earlier and I didn't get it said. The double pad I got. And they're about that long. About that wide. They're really nice. But they only have one heat setting. And boy do they get hot. So let's check it out. I got a little tester here that tells me how much it's using. Um, this is kind of flimsy right here. And I don't expect it to last too many years. Okay, it's saying it's doing 5 volt. Let's erase all the stats from before. It will not turn on with just a push of a button. It wants you to hold it. Red. And it's pulling 5 volt at 1.75 amp right now. I will do a heat test on them later. That, that one's already warm. It's because they're... Yeah, this one's already warm. So I'm going to use them for a week. That way I can tell you guys how good they did. And if they're even worth it. I don't remember what red means. Oh, it's flashing. So right now we're still at 5 volt, 1.72 amps. I'm just a normal power bank. I think I get about 6 hours out of this one on my the double pads, if you guys seen that video. 
stay tuned I will have another video they're already warm they're not too hot to the touch yet looks like that's what it's gonna be pulling I'll do testing later on each setting let's see what that one does is it gonna lower the amps it totally shut off and re-kicked on and now it's pulling it's going kind of spastic it keeps going from 5 volt clear up to 5.5 volt and 1.3 amps yeah that setting is going kind of wild they're still warm I don't expect drastic not just shut the amps off so instead of it lowering the voltage it is shutting off it's shutting off for a couple seconds I don't know if you guys can see that on the right side right there. The volts are staying crazy. But this is kicking on and off. On. I'm oh, not staying on. Okay, so it does its own wild thing. It doesn't lower the amps or anything. It just shuts off. And goes nuts on everything. Let's see what the next one is. Green. Nice little color there. There it shut off again. So that may use more power even though it is shutting off and kicking back on because it is surging the volts. And when you get a surge, you're basically using the power that you saved when it was shut off for them couple seconds. This one's shutting off for longer periods of time. So it may help, but that middle setting, I think it was blue. Um, it didn't stay off long enough to offset the surge that it does when it kicks back on. But I will do testing. And I will have another video. I definitely like these better than um, hand warmers. Electric hand warmers and all that. These are really nice. And the next settings back to red. Let's see if it acts normal on red again. Yeah, on red it just stays right at 5 volt if you see that. No surging. It stays right there on the amps and on blue it just goes nuts so if we want to shut it off hold on it bam it's off shuts the amps off still saying that there's five volts if you need it every one of them was warm I think I'm going to turn that on red I'll do that in my next video. I can't spoil you guys with everything right now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my testing video.